snake with tri hooks? Man, this really is my worst fear. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today's video we have a really, really fun and crazy one. I'm extremely, extremely excited to do this today. I've been wanting to throw this lure that I have in my hand right here for the longest time and I finally pulled the trigger and I bought it. This right here is a, a little a snake lure. This thing is honestly super realistic and kind of crazy scary. I'm not gonna lie. I hate snakes. They're my least favorite thing on the planet but today we're gonna fish with one and I hope the bass will eat them so I know that if it's a possibility of snakes chase me down on the boat that a bass could just come save me you know what I'm saying but um it should be an interesting day I'm really excited got a little rattlesnake color right here I'm honestly extremely terrified I, I hate these things but it's a lure so I feel like I can I can make it through the day but if I see an actual snake and it comes after this one it's not gonna be a good day because I, I hate snakes I don't know if I've said that enough you know you get the point but anyways, I'm extremely ready to throw this thing around. I know the bass are probably gonna be going crazy today. It's a little overcast day, nice and calm with a little bit of wind, which is absolutely perfect for the day. I'm so ready to throw this around. Let's tie up this rattlesnake lure that's 3D printed, I, I think, which is kind of crazy. And uh, let's try and go catch some fish. This thing has some really cool joints in it that's gonna make it just go through the water like crazy. I'm so excited. Let's go ahead. Get this thing tied up and hop on the boat. All right, so the goal is what snakes like to do, because I've, I've seen it multiple times and it's been very terrifying, is they like to come in from the high grasses right over here and get in the water and just kind of swim around, especially like water moccasins and stuff that like the water. We're, I should have gotten an all black one, but this one looks cooler. So we're doing the uh, the rattlesnake kind of pattern today, but I'm, I'm really excited because I know that these fish are going to eat this thing and it honestly moves really really well let's catch a fish oh my gosh it puts off so much action the only thing i'm worried about is is the hooks because there's two but it, if they hit the back they're not going to get it so the way this lure is designed is it's kind of long so i'm hoping the two hooks are going to be able to you know kind of keep everything i mean i guess they're pretty spaced out but there's two line ties, so I think you can work it just straight top water or like a wake bait, which I'm working it like a little wake bait because it just puts off more action in my opinion. I don't think you guys understand how ready I am to catch a fish on the snake lure. I'm so ready. I just can't wait. I'm ready to hear a little blow up. I'm ready to feel a little tug on the line, you know what I'm saying? And uh, I'm just ready. I'm just trying to figure out where is the snake going to do the best? Where are the most fish going to be at? That's what I'm trying to figure out here. They don't seem like they're pushed up on the bank too much right now, but I'm still going to cast there. I mean, this thing just, it, it has a little nice little wiggle. Like, where are the fish at? They should be seeing this right now. Time has come. It's, it's time to catch a fish on the snake. My most logic thing right now is find cover. Like... I feel like if there's a snake in the water, it's going to be by cover. It's going to be where it can hide, it can get up on stuff. There's fish feeding over there. Hold on. Let me, let me, let me cast and then I'll finish my thought. And they'll be all up in the woods. Like they're going to come from, from out. A little snake action. Oh yeah. You know, it actually walks extremely well. The one thing that does like really worry me about walking these type of baits is the ones with the joints, they're real good about catching the hooks. So you gotta kind of walk it real, real carefully. Oh, it's, it's gonna happen today. It's going to. It's just the fact of when and where. Unless the bass are just terrified by this thing. But I feel like there should be an aggressive bass it's, it's not really the size of a snake that would be out here because the snakes that are out here are monstrous i'd say it's a pretty pretty long worm if anything i don't know it should be interesting we'll find out <laughs> oh yeah i just wonder how many bass out here just like see a snake and they're like oh i gotta eat that that one did oh my gosh that was so freaking cool 
Oh my gosh, that was actually crazy. A little popping action. That's not a bad fish either. Come on, little buddy. Get over here. Oh, he's barely hooked. Barely hooked. Barely hooked. Yes. First one in the boat. Let's go. Oh my gosh, he is going insane. Let's go. Oh, don't do that. Don't do that. No. No, thank you. Please don't do that ever again. All right, so right here, first one on the snake today. Do it right up here against the land like I've been talking about. Buy some brush and some cover, and it happened. I was just popping it, walking it around. Nice little solid fish. Nice one to start off with. I'm so excited. This is going to be a good day. Let's get this dude back and get to casting. All right, dude. Thank you so much. You go eat all the snakes for me, all right? You just, you get them all. See you, man. Oh my gosh, he literally just went right back up to his little pile he was sitting on. All right, went ahead and moved. We got to a little bit of wind. I feel like the wind may be a little factor that can help us out here. I haven't really been fishing the wind a lot with topwater baits, which has been a mistake. But I feel like today, oh, it's game over. I'm just trying to figure out what the bass think about my snake lure. Do they like it or do they not like it? Or are they just confused? Because I'm honestly confused. Fish just moves right behind my face. Oh, he ate it. Okay, he was like, not even a pound. Good to know, good to know. Oh my, he ate it again. What the heck? Oh my gosh. Okay, little aggressive bass. I see you. Big guy, big shot in the pond, aren't you? Wow. Well, I can say I was not expecting that. It was, it was, he was he's really, really aggressive. He hit it twice. Look at him though. He's, hold on. Let me just, let's just take a moment here, real quick. Here is the snake, here is the bass. They are literally the same size, no joke. Even though you're little, you still count in my heart. Oh, hello. Oh, there we go. Oh, he missed it, oh my gosh. That's what I was afraid of. Only if we could catch a big fish or a few more fish. That's all I ask for. I don't ask for much, man. Oh my gosh, that was so freaking cool. Oh my gosh. You ask and you shall receive. Get up here, little buddy. Get up here, little buddy. Don't you shake it. Yes. Let's go. That's all I'm talking about. That was like a super cool bite. I just kind of pull. Okay, my composure. I'm good. That was a super... Super cool bite. I just kind of threw it out there and I just kind of pulled the rod like that and let it run. And this little dude came by and popped it. It's so crazy how the little ones are just so aggressive towards something way bigger than they are. And way more aggressive. I feel like a snake would just terrify this thing. I mean, how would he even digest that? Like, I don't, I don't understand. But I am not questioning it because we caught a fish. Third one of the day. You can't complain there. Three fish on a snake lure. That's that's impressive, I feel like. So let's go ahead, get this dude back. Thank you so much for biting. I appreciate you. It's like I'm, I just keep getting these slumps, and then finally, we get a we get a bite and we get a fish, and it makes it feel 100 times better. See, man. Oh, I thought he was gonna come up and shake. No, nah, he didn't. He just kind of went back to the depths. All right. I'm just ready for another fish, man. I gotta get this snake lure dialed in. I can catch one more for a big fish. I'll be very satisfied with this performance today. A snake with tri hooks? Man, this really is my worst fear. Oh my god! Oh my gosh! The net is open. The net is open. Oh my gosh, that was the craziest blow up all day. Oh my gosh, please stay on. Please, 
Please stay on and do not spit it. Oh my gosh. Okay, he's not. Okay, never mind. Just forget what I was about to say. I was about to say he's not that big, and then he swam closer, and I was like, okay, he's kind of big. Okay. Okay, buddy. Okay, buddy. Okay, buddy. Come here. Oh gosh, that's a giant. No. <gasps> Not only did he get off, he almost just took my face off with my snake lure. Uh, how do you recover from that? That's it. I'm taking my rod to the pawn shop. Uh, I don't think I've ever been so disappointed in my life. Oh, <laughs> no. Oh. Oh, dude, that hurts so bad. All right, let's see. It's the last spot of the day. If nothing happens, then they call it as much as we can catch. Oh, there's one. Oh, my gosh, that was such a cool bite. Just a little pop, and then boom. He was on. Little guy, little guy, get up here, buddy. That's still not a bad fish. That's that's actually not a bad one at all. All right, another one. I knew there'd be a fish over here. They're always hanging around eating bluegills. This one ate a snake. <laughs> Love it. Let's get this little dude back. Not keep him out too long. I appreciate you very, very much. You really helped me out. And if you'd let, there we go. He wouldn't let go of my finger. Well, all right, we just got done fishing with the snake lure. It went extremely, extremely well. I was really surprised. And then tragedy struck. We lost a giant. And by we, I mean me. <laughs> it's a sad day. It's a sad day, really. Whenever you lose a giant fish like that, it hurts. It hurts a lot. Like, I'm still a little, a little heartbroken right now, even though I haven't been trying to think about it, but... The explosion just keeps playing in my head. Oh my god! And when the snake lure said, you know, right by my face, also keeps playing in my head. That's a giant. No! Because that was extremely dangerous and scary. Oh, it hurts, man. I wish I could have landed that fish for you guys. It was a big one. And he blew up on the snake. But the snake lure did catch lots of fish today. I was surprised. I thought we'd come out and catch a few. We actually did really, really well. Along with the terrible weather conditions, you know, it's just real hot out here. The weather's been changing so much. These fish are very confused, but we still got it done. It still was a fun time. And you know, just getting out and fishing in general, even using a snake lure, it's always a good time. So if you guys are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. And if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and a comment and I will see you guys in the next one.